I was absolutely terrified. 2018, I think it was. This is after I got off Suboxone, went on the worst run of my life. I had no more resources. Nobody was lending me money anymore. And I didn't know what to do. And somebody had said, have you tried detox? I said, what is that? I had never heard of it. It was an ignorance issue on my behalf, but committing to that, it was super scary. I was like, I don't really have a choice, so I'll do it. So I did it, but kind of like haphazardly did it. And I wasn't really sure what I was getting into and how I would navigate that with work, taking out FMLA and will I continue to get paid? Like, how am I going to sustain myself while I'm in treatment? And I was also scared of like losing my house, my car, my job, all these materialistic things. I think it was the fourth or fifth detox. They were like, you need to do something different. And they were trying to suggest that I do the 30 day inpatient treatment. And I did it. They helped me with all the paperwork. And after I did the rehab, they tried to get me on Vivitrol at the time. So I left rehab after 37, 38 days, whatever it was, still not feeling right. I relapsed and somebody reached out to me. I was like, hey, you should try this experimental treatment down in Mexico. I was like, all right worth a shot. This didn't work. I did that, but I didn't have a support system when I came back. So I relapsed again. It wasn't until December of 2018. I was driving home after I copped. I just fell out while I was driving, totaled my car, ended up in the ICU, got out January 1st, 2019, found a couple of bags of dope in my pocket when I got home and OD'd again to the point where they were going to pronounce me dead. So it was at that point, after I had that OD experience, the second one, it was all different. My perspective had changed. I was like, what good is a house if I... I if I can't even use it, I had already told my car, so forget that. You know, what gets a paycheck if I'm just going to keep dying? I got rid of everything materialistic in my life and I went back to rehab. Uh, this time they had supplicate available and I said, sign me up. You know, I just did everything that professionals told me to do. And when I got out, I, I did things differently. I went to a sober house. I, I started recovery coaching, going to meetings groups. I moved out to Brooklyn with my now wife and transferred my services to Indigo Recovery and Health and Wellness and branched out even further and established that sober network. But what was really hard was separating myself from my materialistic life. I think at the end of the day, my life is more important than a home, a car, or a paycheck. So that's what led me to where I am today, but it doesn't have to go that way. To our viewers, if you're in a position where you think, what is my job going to think? Am I going to lose it? At the end of the day, you have to say to yourself, is it worth it, right? Is it worth losing my life over? It really is a pretty powerful story. For anyone who's listening, I know John and everyone will, will tell you, it is not easy, but it becomes easier. And it sure as hell don't feel good. But it gets better and it's more rewarding than you could ever imagine. Thank you.